In 2029 and 2031, NASA has exciting missions planned to explore Venus with its two newest probes. However, amidst this anticipation, there's a peculiar twist in NASA's mission schedule. The Trident mission, initially aimed at unraveling the mysteries of Neptune, is now marked as cancelled in 2038. Instead, we'll have to wait until 2049 for a similar mission unless NASA alters its plans again. Join us Cosmic Journey What if the Earth does not exist? The question arises, why the constant delay in exploring Neptune? It's not due to the significant distance as NASA's New Horizons spacecraft successfully reached the more distant Pluto in 2015. So, is there a fear of uncovering something extraordinary around Neptune that could revolutionize our understanding of the entire solar system, possibly even terrestrial life? Neptune, shrouded in mysteries, holds secrets that seem almost unreal. It's not a feature on your typical starry sky map. Even the Babylonian astronomers, considered the best in ancient times, only knew of six planets. The first ice giant, Uranus, was visible through a regular telescope, thanks to William Herschel in the late 18th century. However, Neptune, one and a half times farther than Uranus, orbits the Sun at a staggering distance of four and a half billion kilometers. Its orbit is 30 times wider than Earth's, completing one rotation in a leisurely 165 years. This immense distance and slow movement across the sky mean that Neptune's discovery was an exceptional feat even Galileo Galilei, who had the fortune of observing Neptune twice, couldn't easily spot it due to its distant and unhurried journey through the celestial expanse. The enigmatic nature of Neptune, combined with its vastness, makes it a celestial puzzle waiting to be solved, and the postponed Trident mission might just hold the key to unveiling its secrets. In 1612, against the backdrop of Jupiter's moons, an observer mistakenly took Neptune for a faint star. Back then, even the renowned astronomer couldn't fathom the existence of another planet so far from Earth. However, Neptune's discovery, fueled by imagination, happened in 1846. Urbain Le Verrier, a French astronomer, noticed an unusual deviation in Uranus's movement, as if a massive celestial body was tugging at it with its gravity. After careful calculations, Laveria pinpointed the potential location of this unseen planet in the night sky. Despite skepticism from many colleagues who couldn't wrap their heads around discovering a planet solely through calculations, researchers from Berlin University believed in Laveria's findings. On September 24, 1846, they confirmed the existence of Neptune, deciding to name it after the Roman god of waters and seas. For the next 150 years, Neptune's surface remained unseen from Earth. When NASA's Voyager 2 probe approached Neptune in 1989, scientists anticipated a quiet, frozen world. To their surprise, they discovered an active planet with hurricanes, giant clouds, and a mysterious dark spot. Voyager 2 even unveiled five new satellites and hypothesized ice rings. This unexpected activity contrasted sharply with the tranquil Uranus. Since then, Neptune has remained largely unexplored. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope revealed dust lanes and additional features, making Neptune resemble Saturn. This discovery underscored how little we know about this distant and enigmatic world on the solar system's outskirts. Despite these revelations, scientists might hesitate to launch a new mission. Could it be a reluctance to admit the limited understanding we have of Neptune? Perhaps a reminder that this mysterious ice giant continues to defy our expectations, leaving much more to be explored and unraveled in the depths of the solar system. Ever wondered why Neptune is where it is in our solar system? Well, from a planetary scientist's perspective, it's a bit of an oddball. Either it's too big or too small to be in its current orbit. The gravitational math tells us that Neptune is about 17 times more massive than Earth with a significant portion concentrated in its rocky core. Surprisingly, beneath its exterior, there's a hidden rocky planet slightly larger than Earth, covered by massive layers of gases, mainly hydrogen and helium. Quite a cosmic cocktail. But here's the puzzling part, while Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus all seem to fit snugly into their spots based on their mass and location in the solar system, Neptune, being farther away, should be lighter than Uranus. Yet, Neptune turns out to be heavier. Scientists are now leaning towards the idea that Neptune might have formed closer to the Sun, maybe near Saturn's current orbit. 
a gravitational tango with Jupiter, however, might have flung it to its present location, playing a bit of solar system musical chairs. And hold on, there's a wild theory suggesting that Neptune might have had a run-in with an alien star during this cosmic dance, causing it to lose some mass. Picture this, a massive blue star breezes by, blowing off a chunk of Neptune and Uranus. It's a radical idea, but the cosmos is full of surprises. Now, how Neptune came to be isn't the only head-scratcher. The classic model of giant planet formation involves a slow accumulation of gas around a solid core, like wrapping cotton candy on a stick. But for Jupiter to get as massive as it is, this process would need more time than the young solar system had free gas available. So, scientists have introduced the disk instability model, where the protoplanetary disk rapidly forms massive clots that become gas giant planets in a matter of a few thousand years. It's like skipping the slow cotton candy wrapping and diving straight into a giant lump of sugar. But wait, there's another twist. Some scientists suggest Neptune might have formed as an exoplanet in another star system, drifting through space until our sun's gravity captured it. Imagine an alien world with its own set of rules about planets. Now, let's talk Neptune's atmosphere. It's not your typical weather forecast. Winds here scream at speeds up to 2,100 km per hour, making Earth's most severe storm seem like a gentle breeze. The Great Dark Spot photographed by Voyager 2 in 1989. Was a mystery. Was it some alien life form? Not quite. It turns out, it's a massive storm, a turbulent dance of frozen methane crystals creating Neptune's distinctive blue hue. But what lies beneath this chaotic atmosphere? If a mission were to reach Neptune, it would encounter an environment of extreme pressure and temperature. Under the dense clouds, there's a supercritical ocean of water and ammonia with methane impurities possibly home to a heat engine generating Neptune's mysterious magnetic field. And here's a captivating detail, beneath its gaseous exterior, Neptune could harbor a mantle of supergiant diamonds, formed under intense pressure and friction. It's like an expensive gemstone surprise within the heart of this distant ice giant. But the Neptune saga doesn't end there. Around it, in the Kuiper belt, strange celestial neighbors defy explanation. There's chaos in the form of peculiar rings, odd-shaped objects, and even a possible artificial structure. Could we be witnessing remnants of an ancient interstellar traveler, or is it just a quirk of celestial mechanics? And let's not forget Triton, Neptune's largest moon. It's a peculiar one, with cryovolcanoes spewing water, ammonia, and methane into space. Some scientists even speculate that Triton might have been an interstellar wanderer captured by Neptune's gravity adding an extraterrestrial twist to the tale. In the end, Neptune remains a cosmic enigma, urging scientists to delve deeper into its mysteries. Perhaps, one day, a mission equipped with a brave probe will uncover the secrets hiding beneath its turbulent atmosphere, and unravel the peculiarities of this distant, icy giant. Until then, Neptune will keep us guessing and inspire wild theories about its origin and the mysteries it guards in the depths of our solar system. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.